What's up guys? Chad here bringing you the exercise of the week. This week the exercise is going to be a kettlebell swing. All right, I'll, get the, I'll get to that in just a second. All right, I also want to say that coming up I'm going to start posting more videos for finishers. All right, and a finisher is something that you can do at the end of your workout to kind of really ramp up that metabolism and, and keep, keep your metabolism burning more fat after your workout. Now these things are typically a little high intensity and they, they can last for a couple minutes. So what I'm going to show you is basically an, an, a, kettlebell, a kettlebell swing EMOM, which is a every minute on the minute. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to do 10 kettlebell swings. All right, say it takes you 10 seconds to do 10 kettlebell swings. You've basically got 50 seconds to rest until you do the next 10. So for beginners, I would say let's do six minutes and then you can go up to 12 for more advanced. So start with six and then you can adjust accordingly, you know, to your fitness level. So here's a kettlebell swing. Kettlebell swings, you want to start here. All right, you want to squat down and push it up with your hips, right? So one thing, one thing to be cautious of is that back. You don't want to be like this, and you don't want to bend down like that, right? It's important to squat down and push up with your hips. Squat and push, right? So for the first couple minutes, that'll be pretty easy, but the more you get into it, the harder it will get. Make sure you tune in next week. We'll bring back another exercise of the week and another finisher. Thanks, guys.